Okay. This is part of the thing about Aikido being a sword-based art. Here's a uh, hantai hold, cross hand. So he's holding you there. You want to do a shihonage. So you're taking the sword. Notice how this hand is going all the way into his belly and the sword is slicing his belly and you come up like this, get low, keeping your hand, keeping your sword hand in front of you. So this is a cross hold like this. You're taking the sword out, slicing his belly, holding your hand always in front of you, getting down low and slicing. And he does the shiho nage down this way. So that was a very good tip from Sensei. Left hand, left hand, cross hold. So, cross hand hold. You're gonna slice his belly. Get down low, keeping your hand in front of you, and slice down. And he does the shiho nage down that way. So, without the sword, he's he's holding you cross hand. So. You're gonna go. Let's see, he's holding your cross hand. So you're like this. You're gonna draw the sword out and cut his belly. So he is standing, holding your hand with his right hand. No, he's holding. He's holding with his left hand, cross hand hold. So he's standing here, holding with the left hand. You're gonna go that way. So all the way in. Basically, picturing the sword out this way and his belly. And Shihonage this way. So the uke looks like this. Huh. It's not working out. So I need to go that way, actually. It must not be cross hold. It must be same size oh, hold, so not a hand tape. So this is so this is why it's good to picture the uke and the nake. So left hand, he's holding with the right hand, and you're gonna replay saved. Cross hand. I mean, you're gonna no, draw the sword like out this way, it's cutting it's his belly here. And keeping your sword hand in front of you and slice down. And he does the she hold not get. So. Sword I did a little pull to kill his sword cut. drone, which kind of slowed me down too. So the Maybe I shouldn't do that when I'm okay, part looks cool. like this. You're holding him. He's gonna slice. Well, it. I usually have bosses like that every once in a while. It's been a long time since I can't remember. There's something about slicing across the belly. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. I think the smarter move would have been to cancel like command center and try to just expand on the high grounds. But even then, I'd be like. 
So I can't picture whether it's cross turn or, or same side. So if it's same side. It should be cross side. Because I remember the slicing of the belly comes across like this. And he does the shi shihonake. So, you see how he looks when it's crosshand. So that means he's holding you with his left hand here. And your sword is on this side, that's why. So you are going to slice him this way. And he's going to be turned around. So the Nage's hand, I mean the Uke's hand, looks like this. down like that. So, slice. Yeah. Slice him. And maybe slice down. So you don't do the turning. You don't pivot at all. You just real easy slice out this way. Slide in. And do the sword cut. So there is no pivoting. You just come out with the sword. Slice his belly. Keep your hand in front of you. And slice down. And the end case part looks like this. Hand. He slices your belly. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. But just remember the belly slice. That's all I can do right now for this one. I don't remember if it's hente. I don't remember the pivoting. I don't remember the wuke. Wuke's part. But I remember as the nage, this is your forward hand, you come out with the sword, and you slice him, and you either chop this way, or I think you have to pivot, pretty sure you have to pivot. But how does that work though? He's, he's facing this way. He would have to. He would have to turn around in order to be dropped with the Shihonage. So I'm not sure. But I do remember, definitely remember picturing the entire sword slicing across the belly. And the only way. The only way that the sword could cross, slice across the belly is if it's a cross hand hold, because this is the angle of the belly that's sliced. You're slicing the belly that way. So, sword comes out, slice the belly, turn, and chop. And the wuke is supposed to shihonage this way. Down. Alright. Other side, right foot forward, slice the belly, because okay, so he's holding you this way, so basically the sword comes out this way, the 
this way. You're slicing the belly, and at the same time, you're opening up this gateway for you to enter and chop with the sword. Okay, that's that's all I can say.